Good morning guys. So today we're going to go ahead and install the Built by Legends carbon fiber hood prop and this is for the R34. I got this a while back and now it's finally time to install this thing. We're also going to go ahead and install this Nismo cooling plate right here. Here we have the Built by Legends dry carbon fiber hood prop and yes it is a real carbon fiber hood prop. So I actually got this a while back and this is number 11 here. It also came with two decals here. I don't know which one I'm going to use or where I'm going to put those yet. It comes with this note right here, pretty much stating that this is for a GTR aluminum hood, not a steel hood. It's going to be stable. Just be careful when you have your hood open and it's windy out because this thing is so light. It's crazy. It like does not weigh anything. Before we weigh these two, I'm going to go ahead and remove the OEM one. All right, so the OEM hood prop is off and man, this thing feels so much heavier. So the OEM hood prop weighs one pound, 1.90 ounces. As you can see here, it weighs 3.15 ounces. Man, what a difference that makes. That is pretty crazy how much lighter this thing is compared to the OEM hood prop. Now that you guys saw the weight difference, the next step is for me to install this carbon hood prop. dry carbon built by legends hood prop is on this thing looks insane and it's holding up the hood pretty good but the hood prop is not bending or anything so that's a good sign there we go that's much better as you can see the carbon built by legends dry carbon handcrafted in japan this thing is handcrafted which is the crazy part um but i ended up throwing a built by legends sticker there the other one over there and we threw on the nismo cooling plate here both of these parts are on the front end is starting to come together just gotta do headlights front bumper i got a lot of little stuff to do in between i got the nismo turn signals with the z led internals and we just got to get new led bulbs for the side before we can start throwing all this stuff on if you're doing an r34 gtr quarter panel conversion on your gtt these are a must-have these are the closing plates for the rear bumper and these will go as you can see i have a gap right here and these plates will close up that gap and they will go in there so these are a must-have if you're doing the conversion or if you have r34 gtr and you're missing that section these are the parts that you will need so the part numbers for these are right here you can see Huge shout out to Nismo Parts Plug because without them, I wouldn't have these right now. Their site was so easy to navigate and find these. And if you guys need any parts for your R34, R33, R32, S15, any JDM vehicle, or just need parts in general, just go take a look at their website. You might find what you're looking for there. Great prices. These were actually discounted. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and put these on. I do have some random clips here from Amazon. I bought like a whole clip set. These are just like random clips that I have that fit into the holes that are in there let me just show you guys so those clips fit i don't know if you guys can see that good fit perfectly into these holes here there's three i'm gonna go ahead and use those clips to install these the change of plans instead of using the push clips we're gonna go ahead and use these shield retainers the one we will be using is this one right here so it's a one fourth 6.4 millimeter hole size i believe that one fits the best this thing goes in here like this Now that we have the carbon fiber built by legends hood prop and the carbon nismo cooling plate we're gonna go ahead and install the next carbon fiber piece here we have another carbon fiber piece from garage active and we're gonna go ahead and install this onto the r34 and what we have here is the garage active carbon fiber sunshade and i gotta say this one is a million times better than the one i bought a couple years back for the r32 so the one I had purchased for the R32 a couple years ago had a lot of pinholes in the carbon fiber. Not only that, but it was a single sided. And as you can see, this is a double sided carbon fiber windshield banner. I'm gonna go ahead and put this against the windshield so you guys could see the carbon fiber goes over a little bit. And that is so you could tuck it in from the inside. So this piece actually goes installed in the inside of the car. In order to install this, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is unscrew the rear view mirror so that way you could slide it in there for that you need a phillips head screwdriver
carbon fiber sunshade was way too wide and there's like a step lip right here i don't know if you guys can see so the windshield's like right here and then there's like a lip and it goes down here so there's a quite a bit of a gap there so when i installed the sunshade it kind of caved down into here and that gave it a gap in between here and you could see it from the outside of the car so i had to trim the sunshade down a bit in order to clear that so i trimmed the sunshade about a quarter inch just on the edge and as it curved up i just cut it closer to the edge and after i did that it was a bit uneven so what i did is i got this 120 grit sandpaper and this block and i just sanded it straight did that on both sides so now the sunshade is good to go and i didn't realize it but it has like this clear protective cover over it and i started peeling it off a little bit so i'm just going to go ahead and finish doing that now it's time to put this thing on so i thought i'd come in here and show you guys real quick so in order to loosen that piece up up here to get the sunshade in you got to remove this cover from the rear view mirror once you remove that cover there's three bolts you just loosen them up you don't have to remove them this will come down a little bit and give you enough space to slide the carbon fiber sunshade in when you're done you just tighten these three bolts up which i already did and you just snap this cover back into place what I like about this Garage Active Carbon Fiber Sunshade is that not only is it carbon on the outside, but it's also carbon fiber on the inside. And it's a little bit dark in here, so you can't really see the carbon, but in the daylight, this thing will pop. Excuse my windshield, I kind of scratched it. It was like really dusty and I hit the windshield wipers by accident and it just scratched the crap out of my windshield. So I need to get that polished. Hopefully the scratches come off. So the Garage Active Carbon Fiber Sunshade is on. And I gotta say, it makes a huge difference. The thing about these sunshades is that they really pop in sunlight. Like we're inside, not really much light in here. So you can't really see the carbon pop, but in the sunlight, this thing definitely pop. Especially if I throw a clear coat on that windshield banner, it'll stand out that much more. So I might just go ahead and do that. I'm not 100% sure. Once I take it in the sunlight, I'd be able to tell, but more than likely, I'm just gonna go ahead and clear one side of the banner, leave the other side dry carbon. But that being said, the carbon fiber banner looks amazing. I can't wait to see it in the actual sunlight. 